Capture One Live allows you to instantly share photos in real time and collaborate with clients and teams over the internet. Using Capture One Live normally involves the photographer and the client or team who is collaborating on your project. It's a great way to have a collaborative workflow without the need to be together. Capture One Live is available in both catalogs and sessions. In sessions, sharing is possible from a folder or an album. It is not possible to share a smart album. In a catalog, it is only possible to share from an album. So make sure you have created that first by clicking here in user collections. For this demonstration, I'm using a session. Capture One Live can be found as an icon in the toolbar here. Begin by choosing which collection you'd like to share and set a password for additional security if you wish. I'm sharing the selects folder in my Capture One session and have already placed the photos in there that I'd like my client to review. I can always add or remove photos at a later date if I want to. Click Start Sharing to activate the collection. Active live sessions are shown here. All sessions are active for seven days or until the Stop Sharing button is clicked. Copy the link to share with your collaborator here. OK, let's assume I've now taken the role of the collaborator. If I paste the link into any web browser, Capture One Live will load showing a browser view of the active collection, the file name of each photo, and their current color tag or star rating. The most recent photos are always shown at the top of the browser. Any photo can be enlarged by clicking it once. Scroll through using your cursor keys or clicking the arrow keys here. Return to the browser view by clicking here. Color tags and ratings can be altered simply by choosing a new rating or clicking the color tag here. If the session or catalog is still open in Capture One, any change in color tag or rating is instantly reflected. The same goes if any changes are made in Capture One. They are also reflected instantly in Capture One Live. However, it's important to note that Capture One does not need to remain open for changes to take place. If you have closed Capture One, simply click on Resume Sharing to avoid losing any ratings and color tags that were added in the meantime. It's also important to note that you must resume sharing before the live session's expiry date. I can also filter the collection in Capture One Live by choosing the filter here. It's possible to combine one or more filters if you wish. Filters are cancelled by clicking the X next to their type. Clicking here will follow live captures if you're shooting tethered or follow any edits being made in Capture One in real time. Therefore, if your collaborator wants to follow along during a tethered shoot to observe, tag or rate, then this is an ideal solution. Otherwise, in follow mode, the moment a photo is edited in Capture One, it will be automatically displayed in Capture One Live. To end the session before it expires automatically, click on Stop Sharing and click OK. It is not possible to extend a Capture One Live session beyond seven days. If you need more time, simply create a new active collection as before.